Mr. Daryl Collins. Thank you for joining me in this beautiful boathouse right by an original surf boat. This is the original surf boat. The crew of 1896 who saved the, the people off the E.S. Newman. It was two of my relatives on that crew that Wait, night. Two of your relatives? Two of my relatives. Uh, one on my father's side, Dorman Pugh, and another on my mother's side, Stanley Wise. And this history starts with, with Richard Atrus, who was born a slave on Rock Island in January 1842. Although he was born a slave, he wasn't treated like most slaves were. And little did he know that all this was preparing him later on in life when he would become the first African-American keeper in the United States Life Saving Service. Uh, danger and death, I think uh, all that goes, goes away. It goes away. Yeah, it goes away. This is 1862 is when the Union Army captured Renwick Island in a two-day battle. Okay. Shortly after that capture, word spread it around the mainland and all the slave communities that if you could cross the creek to Roanoke Island, you will find a safe haven. This museum is open in the, in the summertime, three days a week, and in the wintertime it's only open on Saturdays. But they can come here and you can call and we we'll, we'll do personal tours. Here. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon, we are